Batillion ETL version 1.67 is now publicly available to all customers. In this video, we'll show you what new features and improvements are included. For Matillion ETL on all platforms, the Microsoft Exchange Query component has been added. This component queries the Microsoft Exchange API to retrieve data and load it into a table. This component is up to date with Microsoft's latest authentication methods. The component also adds extra endpoints available as data sources, such as calendar, events, groups, and users. To use the Microsoft Exchange Query component, add a new OAuth in the Manage OAuths menu, and select the service type of Microsoft Exchange. For Matillion ETL for BigQuery, the Salesforce Output component has been updated. Rejected or failed records can be captured in an exception table, so they can be flagged for further analysis. To enable this, in the component properties, make sure the Use Bulk API property is set to Yes, then the Capture Rejected Entries property will be revealed. Now you can specify the database and table that will hold the rejected or failed records. The table will be created if it does not already exist. The error table includes the contents of the failed rows, the error message and a timestamp which includes the time zone. And for Matillion ETL on Delta Lake on Databricks, the Run Notebook component has been updated. Run Notebook now offers asynchronous and synchronous execution modes and a polling interval in seconds for synchronous execution. Also, the ability to cancel a running Databricks notebook has been added. To do this, right-click on the Tasks panel and click Cancel. These are the new features in Matillion ETL version 1.67. Please subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with the latest releases, and for more information on everything covered in this video, please visit the Matillion documentation site.